And hello my brave knights, princesses, and princesses, and gather friends. Welcome to Let's Revisit Maze, Subject 360. First of the Maze series. This came out back in 2016-ish, 17-ish. And Madhead took the big fish world by storm with this game. It made a lot of people think that Madhead was going to do great things, and they have done. As of now, they have made their own standalone game called Star Scars Above. And who knows what they're going to do next, but I look forward to it. So with that said, we're going to be playing this, revisiting it. And I know Sophia is watching this, that being Grandma Girl Detective. Hi, I see you there. I know she's watching this because she too plans to revisit this game, but I did it first. We don't need the tutorial as we are professionals. This hallway is endless. Hello. Welcome to the maze, Subject 360. You've been given the rare opportunity to join my sanctuary, but first, you must prove yourself worthy. I already have once, but I can do it again. Who are you? Questions only waste time. Find a way out of the room, or you'll never leave. <laughs> Sounds good. So behind my head are clues. Again, this is Madhead being incredible. There's so many reasons why Madhead did like did so many things that that rattled an object genre. Like you can tell by the style, first of all. The style of all of this is very good. Drawing some telephone symbols. Yes, you should probably write those down. So we have... Um, Ninja Star, Skull, and Pincer. So... Ninja Star. Where's the Skull? Skull. And pincer. Five nine seven. Hmm. All right, we have a screwdriver. Pry this. Pry this one. Very good. Put this away, get this off. Pry the panel. And cut these. Seven, two, four. We still have the valve to do, so we have five, nine, seven. Five, nine, seven, seven, two, four. Is 
There you go. One, three, eight. So five, nine, seven, one, three, eight. Seven, two, four. Five, nine, seven, one, three, eight. Five, nine, seven, one, three, eight. Seven, two, four. Four, seven, two. Yeah, it's four seven two. Okay. There we go. Okay. Neat. Me it out. <laughs> Very good, Subject 360. I'm already impressed. Keep going, there's so much more to see. I'm going to find those responsible for this. I'm not a test subject. Indeed, you are not. But that remains to be seen. Bullet casings. Look, we have a pencil. And we've drawn a map. That's very resourceful. I'm impressed with my character. That's exactly what I would do. I would draw a map too. Ooh. What we got? Uh... Um. It does look like our car, doesn't it? Cool. Finally, a holiday. It's going to be great. I can't wait to get out of this rain and hit the beach. A hotel, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be haunted. Haunted hotel. Eh, slightly puzzled. 
Yes, I am pretty worn out, to be honest with you guys. It's a lot of work doing what I do. That being editing videos, doing streams, and doing everything I've been doing outside of all those things, too. Open! Dead. Okay, that's that's sort of Ryan, the other part of it didn't, and I was kind of like, I didn't even rhyme. an object scene. But hold on, let me just grab everything and stuff everything into my pockets real quick. We use up use the scalpel. Very good. It's a crayon. That's not a crayon. This looks like, um, making a bomb. Yep. Make them butter. Let's see. First an object scene. Let's go. Easy. Ooh, I love secret passages. Hi. I see you there. Don't think I have forgotten you. Done, Subject 360. These tokens track your progress and everything you've learned. Nice. You'll need them to take your place with the others. I can't tell you more, but you're smart. You'll figure it out. If you can take the pressure, that is. Here. Catch. Oops, sorry. Hmm. 
Well, that's awkward. See, this is how you make a terrifying situation game. Take notes, oh, um, Epix, eh, not Epix, uh, Grandma Studios. Don't you dare boss me around. And this is why I say that Madhead, if they got a hold of the Haunted Halls series, Haunted Halls will be back to its former glory with, with Madhead at the helm. Because Madhead would probably make it even more terrifying than it already was. We're talking about the first three games, not the fourth. The fourth is, uh, terrible. Okay, I have a... Right, we're back. So, for those of you who don't know, there is only one bug in this game. And it is, if you open this door first before you open this door, you won't be able to open this door again. So, that's why it's been a kind of a problem. So I went off and played this, everything you guys saw from back, from the beginning to now.
Very nice. So now we've made progress. Alright, so as you guys know, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know how much of a complaint about darkness. This game does it perfectly. I used to complain about it a lot. Hi. Thanks. There you go. Have your arms. But you know you need your legs. What else do we have here? Oh, come on. New. New. Okay. We got a thing! Someone didn't like their looks, so they broke the mirror. Hi. Half doesn't always mean less. Life splits things in half all the time. That's just how it is. I'm sure you understand. Yep. Leave the nest behind you. Nest. Hasten into the night. Discover a new peace. As you take your first flight, forget your old family. I love how she talks in riddles and they mean something else to do with the picture. It's so genius. Cut your old ties. There's a rope right here, so it's not cutting the rope. Love the little ET reference there. In this life, I wouldn't like living forever. It can be yours. You'll see. Just have faith in me. No. Right. All right, I never grabbed a pin. Sleep me.
Ooh. It's a guest book. With my signature in it. crashes because the truth is out there Whoa, you scared me. hello there hello friend my name is Tuck. I'd like a room please I'll stay tonight and keep going after I've rested sure take room 360 the town is really quiet well the people are all asleep <laughs> just be quiet and try not to disturb her I'll see you when you wake up find the pigeon and I'll set it free all right You're so nice. Cool. We have a mirror. Let's go use it. Fine, miss. Very good. Someone's listening. No, it's meant to be in hell. Interesting. She broke the mirror. Thank you. What are you doing? We have a bag of peanuts because we work for peanuts. Ha <laughs> ha! Jokes. Ha uh ha! -huh. Thank you, buddy. That's it. Your path to freedom is now open. I doubt you'll let me go that easily. 
Why would you do that, you twisted little... I told you I'd set it free. You could turn to ash just as easily. Freedom carries a terrible price, Subject. Never forget that. Now hurry, you're almost ready. Hmm. Neat. about no Oh, I'm putting the leaves in the wrong place like an idiot. Now it needs winding. Place just gets better and better. Let's see, brain, frog in a jar, necklace, clock, clock, gas, last sign of syringe. Let's go. And if you guys were wondering if I've done that before. You know, replayed a whole entire Hinom game just to get back to, you know, a certain part. Yes, I have. I've done it with one of the Hidden Expeditions I played once because of a bug at the very end of the game. So I literally sped run all the way back. It's a fun time. And one of the Mr. Case files, that being Broken Hour. So, yes. Yes, I've done it.
Interesting. Don't believe her, you're not alone. <laughs> what a fake out. Hi. You're a very smart and resourceful subject. Thanks. You'll make a fine addition to the chosen ones. I'm curious. Which of the whores you faced was the worst for you? Um, none of these, really. Because, you know, when you tell the game what you're afraid of, the game will actually use it, but none of these actually really bothered me. But we'll throw in this one. That's nice. Beautiful world awaits you. You just need to give me what I want. And what's that? Cute. But it's not what I want. I want you to bow to me and agree to serve me. Then you will exchange this maze for a life you always dreamed of. You kidnapped me. You made me jump through hoops for your amusement? But you'll never get me to bow to anyone, especially not a monster like you. What I said. What, what she said. I always felt there was a fire burning in you. I see it clearly now. That's good. I'm afraid you don't belong in my sanctuary after all. And now that fire will burn me to ash. Goodbye, Subject 360. Prepare to be purged. What's going on? <laughs> and now the game goes completely off the rails. And I love it. Let's see, I'm quite good at never getting mangas this year. Let's see. That's out.
Uh huh. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. Where did she go? I'm gonna get in trouble for this. You didn't look very hard. This gives me such Dr. Blackmare vibes, you know? Because Dr. Blackmare and the uh, creature that's holding all these people here would fit in so well together. But that is the first part of Major Subject V60, the revisit. We'll be continuing to play this game as we get up, but until then, leave a like and subscribe because always room for more. And I'll see you all next video. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Sophia.